Oh, hey! I didn't see you come in there. Welcome back to another video. Good Lord, good Lord, good Lord, good Lord. Oh my God, good Lord. Take a sip of my Esco water here. Oh my God, those fucking game chasers. Fucking pieces of shit. Eight bit Eric. Radical Rick. Canadian gamer. Alpha nerd, that fucking snake in the grass. Good lord, good lord, good lord! What's going on guys? Today's video we're going to be talking about not ask a water. We're going to be talking about games that have incredibly long load times. Uh, we're talking about how this has become a real big issue with video games nowadays. It's nothing new, it's been going on for quite a while, but I find at least from what I've noticed it's just getting worse and worse and worse and I'm wondering if it's going to be you know a growing trend whereas maybe a couple more years from now you know you're gonna have to wait five to six minutes for a game to boot up for Christ's sakes so I just wanted to share with you a couple of examples of what I'm talking about and maybe you guys can leave it in the comments below uh, any examples that you guys have of games that have absolutely ridiculous load times you know whether it be in game or the main startup screen where you're trying to start a new session so I think it's important to note um, a lot of the games from the older generations like the SNES, Super NES, uh, the Sega Genesis, the NES, for the most part, a lot of those games didn't really have a lot of load times. It's funny, out of this world, a game that I always talk about, that's one of the most primitive examples, at least on a console, of a video game that actually had a little bit of load times in it, albeit it's very minimal, but uh, when you transition from certain screens, you get like a... Uh, almost like a clock with a hand that would turn around on the Super NES version. And, uh, you know, Pitfall, the Mayan Adventure, as far as I'm aware, there wasn't a lot of loading in this game. Sonic the Hedgehog 2 is another example. All those great games for the Genesis. Again, simpler times, there wasn't a lot of, you know, onboard RAM, a lot of megabits in these games. <laughs> so the loading wasn't too bad, but then you get into you know, the uh, the sixth, seventh, and eighth generation of consoles, this is probably one of the earlier, earliest examples of a game that had absolutely atrocious load times. And that was Fallout 3. I'm not really gonna get into it here, but anyone who's played this game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And it wasn't just Fallout 3, uh, it was a lot of the Bethesda titles, at least on the console, I don't know about the PC, but you know, you play Fallout 3, Oblivion, Skyrim, Fallout New Vegas, a lot of these games, you know, oh my god, you had to have a lot of patience, that's for sure. Another one, when you start a new track, you get stuck on a, a screen with your car and it's loading, would be Forza Motorsports 4, great game, but there's no, there's no denying it takes a lot of the Xbox 360 horsepower to get this game running because like I said the transitions the screens from uh, the menu to when you get into the game it, it takes quite a while now these are not even the worst examples I mean there's other ones I could go into I know this one here if you boot it up if you haven't played it for a while and it starts from the uh, the, the main screen what is it like three four minutes for this thing to boot up GTA 5 uh, on the Xbox 360 just a brutal initial startup screen takes forever to get going unbelievable same goes for Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, again the initial screen just to get into the game or if you die and it has to reload there's some serious serious loading issues with this game it does take forever it's just it feels like forever it's just brutal i wish there was a way we could get around that again fallout 4 another example and the far cry games far cry 4 and 5 oh, oh man if you die if you dare die oh my god especially far cry 5 you get stuck on this screen where it always shows the same guy this jacob guy and you have the music playing and it's I counted it last night it was like it's like two to three minutes before the game reboots a new session when you die like these games it, it, it's at the point where it almost it almost breaks the game like the loading is just so unbearable in these games I can't stress it enough it was something I know I've been kind of talking about Far Cry a lot but 
something I failed to mention was the loading times in these both of these games. Uh, Far Cry 3, not as bad, but these two... Excuse me while I adjust my mic here. <laughs> these two games are just brutal. So again, just a short video. I just wanted to talk about it. You know, do you think once the uh, Xbox Series X, the uh, the Anaconda comes out, or the uh, the PS5, do you think they're gonna remedy or resolve these issues with home consoles having extenuous loading times, or do you think it's just gonna get worse as these games continue to become, you know, a lot bigger in size as far as the installs are concerned and the the actual data that these games are pulling is it's just absolutely unbelievable yeah in a perfect world sure you know you'd love to be able to play a game that has you know zero on screen on screen loading but i mean that's just not realistic at least for home consoles and i, I know pc gaming you know some of these these pc consoles are like three thousand four thousand five thousand dollar machines and they're running these rtx car cards and they have incredible horsepower Regardless of how powerful the next Xbox or the, the next PS PlayStation console or Nintendo console is going to be, it'll never be at that level of what the, the PCs are capable of. It's just it's just what it is. These, these consoles are, are budget consoles. So, yeah, I don't know. It's something I wanted to talk about. It's been bugging me for a while, especially playing Far Cry 5. It's just you die quite a bit in this game, at least I do. And it's a, it just takes the wind out of your sails when you get kicked back to that loading screen with Jacob and the music and it, it just, man, you're, you're sitting there with your controller and you just want to get back into the session and it's like, it's just stalling and stalling and stalling. So it's just, just brutal. Good Lord. Good Lord. <laughs> so that's going to do it. Leave in the comments below your opinion on this. Am I blowing this out of proportion? Uh, are there any games that you guys would like to mention? I know I didn't mention a lot here. This is just off the cusp. But if there's a few games you guys want to mention, leave it in the comments below and maybe we can get a conversation going. So again, I'm going to finish this bottle of Esca water. It's really refreshing and I'm going to cool off. It's still pretty hot outside as well. So as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. You people are wonderful and beautiful. You take care.